All right. No. Oh, oh. Not all right. November, December, October. Wait, what? Oh, there's a nice one on there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that happens. Smack it on the tip real fast. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. That's a good one. The good, the bad. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on a little practice piece to help improve the TIG welding skills, which if you've been keeping up with the videos I've been posting lately, TIG welding is something that I become very passionate about very quickly. Later in the video, I'm going to be going over some specifics of why this exercise is freaking awesome and why I suggest you try it at home. Now, I got these kits from Inanimate Automation or at Taking Them Softly on Instagram. I will also have all of their links down below. So, I ordered this kit, which I attempted for the first time a few months ago, like kind of near the very beginning of my TIG welding journey and I have the first piece I did and then I have the piece that I did in this video to compare it to. My second go at this challenge was definitely way 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 better than my first one. First I'm going to show you what I got in my order. Not only does he have these kits for training and practicing purposes on his website but he also has different kind of fixture things and like these organization for your tungsten tubes and different risers. You can raise the position of your hand and rest it on this block. Maybe I'll insert a picture here so you guys see what I'm talking about. But you can like glide your hand on the block or you can use it as a fixture since it has the different holes in it. I really recommend checking out his website. Let's get into my order. So, all right, so the star of today's show is this kit that we're going to be practicing later on in this video. On his website, it's called the TIG kit number one. So it comes with these four different pieces that you assemble yourself, tack, and then you start welding. The kit comes with this diagram in case you get confused. Now you have your piece ready to be tacked. Also what was included in my order was this piece. I have not had the chance to use this so far, but once I get to doing some thinner stuff, um, this will definitely help. I think you like clamp it to the piece so that it absorbs some of the heat because it's much thicker than the thinner sheet that you'll be welding. Then we have this sick box that has some stickers. That is super cool. And then, and then, and then, and then, this is super freaking cool. He made a little sign that has my username cut out of it. I was not expecting this at all, so when I saw it, I was pretty excited, not gonna lie. Um, this just kind of sits on my welding table for now. Yeah, so that was just a super cool touch. Hello? Alright, are you filming the video? Yeah, where's my nephew? Perfect. Hello! Wait, close the door, the cats are gonna come out. Oh no. I bet you're wondering, who made this lady that you're watching? It is me. Hello. I am the older sister, the trailblazer, the cat finder. <laughs> you did not the... make me. Oh, honey. <laughs> You're my sister, not my mom. I am everything. I made you. I shaped you into who you are. The good, the bad. <laughs> Shape me into who I don't want to be, that's for sure. Tires? Why? I'm scared. They're for sale. Do you want them? How much a pop? 20? Where's my nephew? He's here drinking a drink. Oh, he's here? For all of them? 250? That's a good deal. No, each. Are you serious? Mm hmm. Gear B. All right. I am back from squishing my tiny little adorable chunky muffin little nephew. He's just so cute. I want to actually die. But that is besides the point. I think I covered everything in my order that I wanted to show you guys. And now we will get into the actual welding. We're gonna be heading over to FenFab HQ and uh, we're gonna be welding this piece with Brett. He's gonna be walking me through it and giving me tips and tricks on how to approach this. So with that being said, I will see you guys there. 
All right, here we go, friends. So this kit is not necessarily designed to teach you how to weld, but more so how to elevate your current skills. I'm here with Brett from FenFab, who is coaching me through this entire piece. Not gonna lie, I was struggling pretty hardcore trying to get these tacks going because of the angle I was approaching them at. All right. No. Oh, oh. Not all right. Oh, man. What happened? No? Didn't like it? No. Oh, it's a nice one on there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that happens. Smack it on the tip real fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. That's a good one. Brett suggested I move the piece so I can have a better viewpoint slash torch angle and that helped a ton. This just goes to show that sometimes you have to think outside the box to find your solution. This is a rather challenging piece that forces you out of your comfort zone, whether it be the awkward positioning, tricky corners, or using your left hand in order to reach those hard to get to spots. This kit also requires you to think ahead of time and take into account the kind of weld you're about to lay down and what would be the best approach. For example, in some spots you want to use low heat and move pretty quickly, whereas others you need more heat and more filler in order to reach a successful weld. I found myself getting a little frustrated when the finished weld did not look exactly how I wanted it to, but that just kind of fuels me to do better and to practice more. For example, some of these welds are pretty dull, which means I should use a combination of less heat and more filler to have prettier and shinier dimes. My camera is about to die here pretty soon, so we're gonna be switching over to a time lapse for my phone. But it's like Gus said, it's like being a pro athlete. You wanna train with pro coaches and pro materials. Same goes for welding. It can get kind of boring practicing on scrap most of the time, so this kit is an awesome way to liven things up. We are back in my garage, and this is the first piece I was referring to earlier, my first attempt at this practice kit. Now this was, like I mentioned, a few weeks, maybe like one or two months into my welding journey. So that being said, clearly not my best work. I remember being super uncomfortable with this, especially these, um, these corner joints here. As you can see, I was burning holes through it and I just didn't really know what I was doing or know what I was looking for. I didn't even finish it because I think we either ran out of time in our class or I think it was just obvious that I needed some more practice. I didn't do any lefty welds. This first attempt didn't go great. That being said, let's look at my second attempt here. So this was done this week, so about five months into my welding practice. Um, I started back like the end of October last year, 2023, and now it is March of 24. I was able to finish the entire piece this time. Now it is definitely far from perfect, but I think I made the world of improvement since the, the first piece that I did. Um, still lots to practice on and work on, um, like, the amount of heat I'm using here, the amount of filler, these dabs should not be this dull. You want them to be like more shiny like this. This weld right here is probably my favorite out of the whole piece. It's probably one of the easiest welds on this piece. Now things I learned on this one, I actually did go lefty for these two welds here, which was terribly intimidating, not gonna lie. But honestly, once I was doing it, I mean, I'm not gonna say they're great because they're not, but it wasn't as hard as I thought. Definitely wasn't easy, but I think I was just psyching myself out a little bit. That is something I would definitely want to practice more. The reason this exercise pushes you to go lefty is to one, get uncomfortable, and two, make it easier for yourself. And Instead of starting on the outside and working your way into the corner, which there's just less room for both your filler and your torch to go, so, so it can just be extra tricky. If you go lefty, you can start in the corner and work yourself outwards, so you have more space as you go on and on. And then, same for this weld right here, I started in the corner and went upwards. Now in the back here, you can see that I used way too much heat on these joints here and here because it went through the backside and actually messed up these welds. Overall, I am super 
happy with the progress. Definitely not where I want to be, but that'll just come with more practice and more time. And I can really only go up from here. So I have that other kit I'm going to be practicing with. I really, really, really love this exercise. This is another practice piece that you can get on this website. And you just practice these different um, welds around these corners. And then um, I actually didn't finish it, but you're supposed to go up these sides too. And a huge thank you to Gus or taking them softly on Instagram for sending these kits over and allowing me to further practice and hone in on my skills. Thank you to Brett from FemFab for walking me through the entire process and being patient with me when I literally can't get my tax going, but we figured it out in the end. Thank you to you guys at home for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are almost to 10k. Like, we're really close now. We're on the home stretch. And I also have some more content with the Silverado coming up that I just picked up. Tag along if you want to stick around for what's to come in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!